everyone so in today's video I decided to film 10 things that you should do before you graduate college as you guys know I graduate a week from today and next week I'll be walking across the stage getting my diploma and before starting college there were a ton of things that I learned that I should probably do before I graduate and different memories to make and you know things to take advantage of before I graduate and all those types of things and I did most of them but today I just wanted to do a wrap up of some things that you guys all should do before you graduate hopefully you're not a senior and also not graduating within a week because you know we're done but if you are in college right now I wanted to compile some things that you should definitely start doing before it's your turn to graduate so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video all right so the first thing on my list is to take a trip with your friends so this is something that everyone should do for the memories I took a trip with my roommates sophomore year and it was so much fun like one of my favorite memories from college we went to mexico right after our finals and were there for a few days before we moved back home for the summer and it was so much fun and it's a really great bonding experience with your friends i know so many people go away together for spring break and that could be really fun i never went anywhere with anyone for spring break taking junior year out because of covid but the other years i went home and then senior year this year i stayed here because my spring break was different from everyone else's and plus the university didn't have a spring break also because of covid but take advantage of that time and go on a trip with your friends it's so much fun and you'll definitely make a lot of memories if you guys are doing a small road trip to another city or flying somewhere it's so much fun and i hope next year we can do some more trips because all my friends this year we haven't had a chance to travel anywhere because of covid so i hope we get to do that this year but definitely take a trip with your friends second thing on my list is to write a letter to your future self so this is something that i did this year and set it for like getting it in a year but if you are a freshman entering college I 100% wish I did this like freshman year or like right like or my senior year of high school and writing to my future self for when I graduate like there is a site I have to if I find it I will let you guys know what it's called but you can write a letter to yourself and you can set it either for a year five years ten years and it'll email you when that time has passed the letter that you wrote to yourself and I just so wish I did this because I know when I was a senior and we talked about where we saw ourselves in five years or four years when we graduated college my entire life everything that i'm doing now is my like dream life and exactly where i saw myself in five years or four years from when i was in high school so it's really really cool and i know that this is exactly what i planned out for myself but i wish i like could have written a letter to my future self so if you're in college write a letter to your future self for when you graduate you can open that up and your future self will definitely thank you so definitely do that the third thing on my list which is less for memories but getting a credit card when i was looking up or listening to financial literacy podcasts or watching how to adult or all these types of things like the number one thing said you need to start a credit card especially now when you're in college because most credit card companies like have student deals where you don't have to pay the apr honestly don't know much about it but there are so many deals when you're in college and it's the best time and great way to start building your credit. So that way when you do graduate college and if you're looking for to buy an apartment or a car or anything, you have some credit history. So it's actually something that I had to boost my mom on. My mom wasn't too keen on the idea of me getting a credit card because she thought I would be, she didn't trust that I would be responsible or thought that it would dig me in a hole and me have built up debt and stuff. But I know myself and I knew that I'd be really responsible with my credit card and knew that I would treat it as a debit card and pay it off right away. So I've had a credit card for about a year and a half and it has been amazing. I have a great credit score. I've been able to get a credit score up. I've been really responsible with it. I pay it off right away and I treat it as a debit card with only spending money that I know I have so definitely get a credit card that way your score will get boosted too so that way when you do eventually apply for an apartment or a car or whatever you have solid credit history for a few years underneath your belt so 
definitely get a credit card when you are in college and there's also a ton of deals I personally have discovered. I haven't had any issues with it. I love it and I'm so glad I ended up getting one. All right, next on my list, the fourth thing is attend school sporting events. Again, I know this past year was really hard with school events, sporting events, but if you guys haven't done this, I feel like this is one of my main tips I've always recommended to everyone in like college advice videos or things to do in college, like I don't know. But I always say like attend school events and they are so much fun. Even this past year, our women's basketball team went to the championship and even though we weren't able to be there in person, it was so fun and such a highlight sporting event memory in college of like the whole university being full of U of A fans and watching the game on the screen and being so hyped with everyone. It was so much fun. So take advantage of that. If your team does go to championships, go out of your way to watch the game with your friends or try to go to those games. It's so much fun. And freshman year too, U of A went to like a bowl game. So my family and I like drove up um, north of California to go watch that and it was such a fun experience. So uh, attend any sporting events you, you guys have. Even like sports that aren't so popular at your school, still attend them. You're not gonna regret it after you graduate. It's gonna be a great experience for you. And it's so much fun to like share that school spirit with your peers. The fifth thing on my list is to try new restaurants and bars. So I know my friends and I have been like trying to find new places, new restaurants and bars before we graduate because in my city in Tucson there are tons of great food restaurants and bars here and we naturally tend to go to the same ones but it has been a thing or like I have tried to like go to new places and places we haven't been to before just to you know experience our city a little bit more before we graduate and try new things like last week we went to this like Mexican food restaurant place in South Tucson and even though it was a little bit further of a drive, it was so worth it and great to like actually have great authentic Mexican food in Tucson rather than just whatever's around campus. So definitely make that time to find like m more restaurants and bars in your town and um, get the most of it before you graduate. Next thing you're going to want to have done before you graduate is your resume. So getting your resume done while you're in college so that way when you're graduated and looking for applying for jobs all that's already done and you can slowly add to it throughout the years. So if you are still in college and don't have a resume already started make sure you're working on your resume getting the main like bones or skeleton of your resume finished so that way you can slowly add to it and by the time you graduate it's completely done and you can easily apply for jobs and you don't have to worry about that. Alright after you graduate college something that's like really sad and disappointing is that you won't have dis student discounts anymore so really take advantage of student discounts that you have. I know like Topshop, I think ASOS or even places around campus that you can use your student card, just movie theaters, whatever it is really take advantage of student discounts because after you graduate you unfortunately won't have that luxury anymore and you're gonna really wish you used up all of your as much as you could of your student discount so try and take advantage of that now all right next thing on my list is to take lots of pictures and videos I keep thinking like this is something that I naturally do and have done a lot for as long as I can remember like I have like albums on Facebook like from like every year dating back from seventh grade of like the photos I got from that year just for my own memories just like have somewhere to look back on all my years and not everyone does this so if you are someone who doesn't really take photos like I totally get living in the moment I I love that I try to do that as well but I'm also someone who loves to capture those moments I love to re look back on memories and stuff and have those memories like a copy of those memories every time I'm out with my friends or I'm having fun I try and capture that moment in a photo or in a video or something so that way I have those memories forever and once you graduate it's gonna be so fun to look back on like even now it's so fun looking back on like videos and pictures I took in high school or freshman year or sophomore year and it's something you're gonna be really really thankful that you did was take lots of photos and have a ton of those memories after you graduate so if you aren't someone who really takes many photos or captures memories when you're out with friends it's so great to be in the moment I totally get that it's gonna be really nice when you have those photos for memories and I know my roommate right now is like gonna be in the process of making a scrapbook of like all the photos from college so if you're interested in that, 
I highly recommend. I may consider doing something similar, but definitely take photos. All right, ninth thing on my list is to save money. I know it's so hard when you're like a broke college student to save money because you don't have much money coming in, but saving is seriously so important. Like it's so nice having like a chunk of money so that way when you do graduate, if you need to buy a car, if you need um, to rent an apartment, if you want to go on a trip like it's so nice having some sense of security right after you graduate and not feeling like you graduated with absolutely nothing so if you're in college really really take the time to save money because again your future self will thank you and it's gonna be really really nice I know like now I'm like trying to figure out where I want to travel within the next year and it's really nice knowing that I have like a good chunk of money to do that with so I highly recommend you guys do that. And then the last thing on my list of the 10th thing that you should do before you graduate college is to connect with your mentors or professors. This is huge because you're definitely going to want to have those connections with your professors or older mentors. So that way when you are applying for jobs, you have solid letters of recommendations that you can ask for or references. And they're going to be really valuable connections and a good network to have once you graduate college so while you're in college really take the time to connect with those professors of yours or older mentors so that way it can be a great resource to you once you graduate college all right and those are my 10 things that i think you should do before you graduate college i hope you guys enjoy this video and getting to learn more of the tips that i have um sadly my college videos are dwindling down hopefully i'll get to make some next year while i'm in grad school but if you guys have any other suggestions of videos you would like me to make soon, please comment them down below. I hope you guys learned something. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys.